another Help the Dogs Matter video. You can find more at helpthedogsmatter.com. Today, we are talking about the legendary Hermes Bulldog. For a lot of y'all who don't know what the Hermes Bulldog is, the Hermes Bulldog is the recreation of the old band Bulldog that was banned on two continents. Uh, the Hermes Bulldog is the healthiest and the largest Bulldog in the world. When I mean health, I mean it lives up to 16 years. It has natural pup birth. It has a high immune system because that's the way Greg made him. He made him from game dogs. Started from a game dog Mastiff and a game dog American Pit Bulls Terrier. By doing this, he created some of the world's first band dogs. Then he done something more special that I wouldn't advise only the experience to do. Greg artificial inseminated a English bulldog to one of his band dogs and that created some of his first Hermes bulldogs. The reason I say not anyone can do what Greg did because nobody has seen what Greg has seen. Greg's father was a dog man also. Greg's father raised Tibetan masters. And Greg once told me that he has seen all the those old bulldogs of the past before they went extinct. You see, he had one as a little boy. So he had some idea of what he wanted um, and what the dog looked like. So in order to make something, you have to know what's in it. I've made steel for 25 years and one of my friends asked me, how can you make steel out of scrap iron? First, you must know the chemistry of the steel. Same thing is when you're trying to make a dog. First, you must know the chemistry of the dog that you're trying to make. You have to know what it takes to make the dog superior to all other dogs. You have to know what it takes to make it have a higher immune system than all other dogs. You have to know what it takes to have the dog have natural pup birth. You have to know what it takes to make the dog live longer than other dogs. You have to know what it takes to have the superior intellect of other dogs. And you won't find it in the books maybe one or two that has been written, but those books are rare and sought out by people wanting the rare knowledge. Most of it is just passed down from man to man, dog man to dog man. Hermes Bulldogs weigh up to 140 pounds. Tops out at at least 22 inches down to 16 inches. The colors of a Hermes Bulldog. Hermes Bulldogs are not black. They are not black and tan. They are not merle. No funny colors in the Hermes. They don't have no grays, no blues, no lilacs. That's not a Hermes. The Hermes started off with a black brindle. 
but never an all black dog. Most Hermes are white, or uh, have uh, mostly white markings on them, but they also come in colors of brindle and in combinations of brindle and white. Hermes also come in reds. They come in multiple colors, beautiful colors. They have a very, very great coloration on these dogs. You may even know someone who says that they have a Hermes. And it's possible they, that they might have a Hermes. But if they didn't get it from Linda or Greg, it is possible that it's just a variation of a Hermes, which means that it has somewhere down the line, it has Hermes in it. And once you got Hermes in your line, you they can tell that you got Hermes in it. But one thing for sure, a Hermes Bulldog does not have any drooling problems or Hermes doesn't drool. Hermes doesn't have loose skin. Hermes doesn't have cherry eye. Those are one way you can tell that you that the her, that it's been something added to the Hermes don't come in all of those funny colors. They don't have no blues, no uh black and tans, and certainly no blacks. If it, it may have uh white and black, but mostly freaking white today. The Hermes is a family dog. It loves to be around family and other pets. But make no mistake in that the you have to know what the dog was made for. And the dog is to be respected. It does not like to be disrespected. It, you, it does not like to be intimidated. It won't be intimidated. That's even by the owner. So I would say it needs an owner who who is not a first-time dog owner. You really need to know something about the Hermes and know something about how it was created and what it was created for. If the dog is to be respected at all times. It won't be bullied by other dogs or by the owner. It will not be bullied. It needs to be respected. It was made in the image of Greg Hermes. So that being said, Greg has had many stints with the law. And if it wasn't for his wife, Linda Hermes, you wouldn't have the Hermes today. She carried the breed while Greg was in trouble. And, and she basically is the reason that you see the Hermes today. If, if it wasn't for her, we wouldn't have the Hermes at all. So after generations and generations, what is it, three generations? Or Hermes, uh, these dogs are very much family oriented. They will not hurt a kid at all. But kids need to know to respect the dog. You know, just like you respect the person. Linda has raised these dogs with their family for all these years, and then now she's raising them with the grandkids, and, and I believe uh, young Caleb is going on 18. He's the next generation of dog man. And I commend Caleb. Hang in there, son. You're the next generation. You are the legacy of the Hermes Bulldog. By definition, the Hermes Bulldog is its own breed. Linda has been breeding these dogs on the same 
property for over 40 years. Okay, she's been keeping up with the lineage herself. And with her dog registry that she trusts. I've asked her many occasions of uh, why she didn't want to get the dog's standards with the with the AKC and the UKC. And she told me, Steve, they are gonna change my dogs. Just like they do every other breed. And I was, I can't really say nothing to that because it's true. They will try to change your dogs. They will, she wants, she don't want all of those different colors. She has her own standard that she's been doing on her own yard. And you got to respect that. So, you know, while David Ledovitz was saying that there's a old English bulldog and everything else, she didn't really, and Greg and, and her, they didn't really give a damn about what the AKC and the CK, uh, the AKC and the UKC was talking about. They had their own standard. They was making their dogs for them. They wasn't making them for the AKC or the UKC standard. They had their own standard. So that's why uh, you have what you call old English Bulldogs, you have the Levy Bulldog, and you have the Hermes Bulldog. And I think all of them need to be respected and separated. If you ask me, I believe they need to be separated. But that's just my opinion. It is my pleasure to have the Hermes Bulldog as a part of HealthyDogsMatter.com. If you go there right now, you will see the Hermes Bulldog as a breed on HealthyDogsMatter.com. It might be the only place in the world where it's a breed. You see Linda's telephone number. If you need puppies, you can contact Linda. The stud services that Linda goes for or only with Hermes Bulldogs. And it's got to be something that is when she said Hermes Bulldogs, she needed to have Hermes up front. And at least at least have it up front. Okay? So unless and if she bought it from her, it's automatically she's gonna give you a stud credit, you know, some kind of stud fee or something. But if you don't She's not just breeding. She, Linda hasn't bred outside her yard in 40 years, okay? It's not about money. It's about integrity, which is a lost trait in today's world. Again, it's my pleasure bringing to you Healthy Dogs. Healthy Dogs Matter is an idea that we all should have. When breeding dogs, should be no opposition to this, but there is, and that's why we exist. You can find us at healthydogsmatter.com. That's one word, healthydogsmatter.com. You can find us also on Facebook. It's the Facebook group, HealthyDogsMatter.com. On the internet, you know, it's HealthyDogsMatter.com. It's no re you don't have to put the www. We promote your dogs, your dog studs, your puppies. We'll love to have you to join our gorilla family. You can become a member of HealthyDogsMatter.com. Uh, the fee is $25 a month or it's $200 for the year. You can post your dogs and your studs. I will do videos to promote your dogs and studs. 
It's not no middleman type of thing. I don't want to make no money off of you or your dogs. I just asking to for you to support the Healthy Dogs Matter dot com platform so we can promote healthy dogs. That's what we all about. We want to put, help you promote your dogs. If you don't have no idea on how you can get your dogs out there, here we go right here. This is what we do. This is not the first, but we get them better and better. Thank you very much. Healthydogsmatter.com. Please support us. Thank you very much.